Hi, this is Professor CC19, and today we are playing level 220 on our quest to the end of Candy Crush Saga, where we have 40 moves to collect 70 red, 70 blue, and 70 orange candies. Now, we have a fairly open board from the start, but we also have these licorice twirl dispensers, which will probably completely fill this column and this column with licorice. And we also have all these chocolate spawners along the sides of the board. Fortunately, only one can be active at a time, so we won't have a mother load of chocolate coming at us. My strategy for this level, as any, um, is the same as any level that requires me to collect colors, is to try and create as much chaos as possible on this board. So I'm going to try and make as many specials and detonate them, like wrap candies, um, color bombs, and combinations. Anything that will draw a lot of new candies down from the top is what I'm going to try and do. So rather than just making a match of three candies next to each other, I'm going to try and cause some cascades and set things up for amazing specials. So I'm trying to see if I can get a purple coming down here so I can make a wrapped candy or potentially a color bomb. Wrapped candy will do because that does cause chaos. Even more so if I can match it up with a striped candy. Let's see here. How can I get the two of these to match up? I think like this. All right, so this is going to take out a swath of 3x3, three three, and it's going to collect a lot of different colors. And it's also going to draw a lot of new candy along with licorice down from the top. On this level, I try and have a good time by creating and detonating specials. I don't really concern myself with the fact that I need red, blue, or orange. I'm just going to try and cause chaos and have fun. This is one of the levels of the game where you can just have a good time and you will likely win the level <laughs> because um, chaos is fun and it's also the strategy. All right, so once again, making a lot of these specials, wrapped candy is better than a striped candy with the purple. And even better, once again, if I can match them with each other. The more of those striped wrapped combos, the more wrapped candies and color bombs, the more I get from the top. Wait, let's see here. See if I can get a color bomb possibly with purple. Not quite, so I'm going to turn over here, working low to the ground, trying to encourage things on top to just fall into place. They won't always fall into place, but it could set me up for something good. All right, so halfway done, I want to take a check here and see how much I still need. I need 26 more red, 19 more blue, 37 more orange. I need to work a little bit harder on the orange, but I have more than half done. Actually, I have more than half done for everything except orange, so that's the reason I'm going to have to focus on it a bit more. But once again, I'm not going to specifically focus on collecting orange candies. I'm going to cause a lot of chaos to get a lot of orange from the top. As I get down to my final few moves, I might start thinking about, oh, I need orange the most. But for now, I'm going to see here, can I get this red down just one? Yes, I can. And now I have a color bomb. Now here I can take out green or purple. Interestingly enough, neither of them are my target colors. But when I take out all green, I concentrate the colors down, and I also get a lot of new candies that are my target colors from the top. All right, so I'm almost done with the blue. Notice how I concentrate the colors. I have the potential for a color bomb. And this time I'm just going to... Now this time I'm definitely going to match it with a special because not only will that collect all blue, it will also collect most of everything else that is on the board and draw more stuff from the top. Color bomb striped candy or color bomb wrapped candy combo is probably the ideal, the most ideal um, combo for this level because it not only causes chaos, but it collects everything on the board. All right, only need one more red. Don't um, concern myself at all about that. I've collected enough blue. All right, so I'm nearing 10 moves. The 10 move mark is where I start to think of what I need the most. In this case, I need 11 orange and 11 moves. So I think I'm going to be able to pull this off. A color bomb is good, and now I'm just going to take out well, I was going to take out all orange, and I don't even have to because I beat the level. All right, so um, a little bit faster than expected right there at the end. That's how I beat level 220. This is my first playthrough for recording purposes. I think this level is pretty fun. It's 
really fun to just cause chaos and actually beat the level at the same time. If you're struggling with this level, I would recommend bringing in a color bomb from the start to cause a good deal of chaos. But don't bring in a lucky candy because they will just correspond to a red, a blue, and orange. So they won't help you that much. Causing chaos is what you want to do. That's the thing that's going to help you the most. If you found this video helpful to you, please subscribe. If you're stuck on any particular level of the game, please leave a comment below. I will try and help you. And as always, thanks for watching.